Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, often having rare and exotic whiskeys, reviewing, evaluating, and testing them. Yay! So, I have another Maker's Mark Private Select, this time Oak Stave Selection by the original Barracuda, celebrating 25 years. We have 55.35% ABV here. All right, first of all, who is Barracuda? And second of all, what is this bottle doing in Germany? So let's pour a little bit in here and then I'll talk about the stave selections and I'll compare it to another Maker's Mark that I really like and maybe compare it to a different one I did not really like. And we'll just mention a few things. This is an exclusive bottling for the original Barracuda to celebrate the 25th anniversary, which is Dubai's largest wine and spirits retailer. What in all the world did Dubai do to send Germany a good load of their private select? I don't understand that. All right, maybe someone can clarify what's going on here, but I really, really don't know. Are there no people in Dubai that would like to buy this? I mean, come on, there's like 250 bottles, that's it. You're at the airport, you're at Dubai, you're at the city, you're a tourist, you have lots of money, you're going to buy this, I hope. Why did it hit the shores of Germany? I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, January 2023, this um, arrived outside of Kentucky, uh, let's say Dubai, and for some reason in December of, I know, no, um, November of 2023, it hit Germany with 95 euros. It sat in a shop, which I don't understand either. And then they reduced it down to 79.90. So 15 euros off. So it went down to 80 euros and I bought it. Um, I would have bought it in 95, but I just didn't even see it in the shop. Someone wrote in one of our WhatsApp groups that we have for whiskey, uh, for um, bourbon talk over here in Germany. is like, hey, look, it's on sale. And it's like... I didn't even know it was here. Bing, bing, bing. All right. And so that's my whiskey. And I really, really enjoy um, Maker's Mark Private selects most of them. So let's see if I enjoy this one. This was the Tila's List. Liste in German. Uh, Tila is uh, Tilo, uh, Timo, I'm sorry, Timo Lambert. T-I for Timo, Lambert, Lambert, um, L-A. So Tilo's List. This is from the Bremer Spiritosen Contour, BSC. And um, this is 104 euros and 90 cents recommended retail price. So let's put this over here. And at the same time, um, this hit the shores of Germany. And by the way, from Weisshaus, there was a fourth. I kind of think that they just sent on the, uh, the pallets over here all at the same time. Um, there's, there hasn't been a private select for like, I don't know, about a year, and then suddenly four appear at the same time. All German exclusive. So I'm guessing that there's a certain amount of coincidence to be found here. Now, maybe this video will come out um, way after January. Maybe it has something to do with the fear of the 50% tariffs hitting the whiskey and like get that over to Germany real quick before it goes up to 50%. Um, I hope that didn't happen. I'm filming this right before Christmas, so who knows. And um, we'll see what that entails for a person in Germany that imports whiskey from America. Hmm. So, on the nose. <sighs> Nice wood. I think this is great. I haven't even mentioned the um, the casks. Um, that's sorry, the the the, um, the staves used. Uh, two baked American pure two. Um, so two, one seared French cuvee, three Maker's Mark, uh, Maker's forty six, two roasted French mocha. Now dis discontinued, but they've done one before, and two French spice. So that Maker's forty six really comes through here. Over here, the Tila's, we have um, one baked American cure. We have two seared French cuvee. We have two Maker's 46. 
We have um, two uh, roasted French mocha, and we have one toasted French spice. I hope I got that right. All right, and over here we have one baked American pure. So I have a, that on the other list over here. I can read that, right? Uh, there we go. Yes, one, a baked American pure, two, um, seared French cuvées, two, Makers 46, two, this is always my problem here, um, roasted French mendiant, and three, toasted French spice. So this also had three toasted French spice. I couldn't read it. All right, so we have more toasted French spice. Here we have more Makers 46. On the nose, nice. Luxur luxurious. I just love this whiskey. And this, more of a, um, that, um, a little bit more of a oaky bitterness instead of a spiciness. Let's just try them real quick. Mmm. I mentioned in, in this video as well. I saw on It's Bourbon Night um, with Chad and Sarah, great channel. If you don't know them, go stop this video. Don't watch any more. It's type in It's Bourbon Night. Chad and Sarah, watch all their videos. I think there's like a thousand. Excellent, excellent people. They're doing great, great, great content. Love them. And they were out bourbon hunting and they showed a um, Maker's Mark 46 cast strength. And it's like, I want that. I still want that. There are many, there are not many things that I really, really want, but I want that. I love the Makers 46. Um, this is perfectly balanced. This has a little bit of the brown sugar, even a tiny tad bit of the um, maple syrup in there. Um, there's the spice of the French oak and the American oak, and it's just very, very well done. There's a lot of oak in here, by the way. Like, I like a lot of bit of oak. This, I just mentioned, is my luxurious whiskey. Every time I try this, I think of myself in a um, leather armchair, like a Chesterfield, and someone's massaging my feet. Um, maybe it's massaging my tongue. This is just wonderful, wonderful whiskey. Mm. There's even a little bit of honey in there. From the beginning to the end, this is, I'm going to use the word perfection. This is what I want from a Maker's Mark private select. This is so great. I love this. This is good. This is great. Now, I was a little apprehensive when I did my German video because the Kirsch Select, the importer for a lot of, a lot of whiskey over here in Germany, even Patty, the guy who picked this, I know he's a friend of mine. And I did not like it. And it's like, but I did it on the original pour. It was the first impression and so on. Is it really going to still stay the same? Yes. <laughs> These Mindiant um, casks add a certain uh, uh, bitterness, even um, a little bit of an astringency that I just don't prefer in my Maker's Mark Private Select. Um, he wanted that. I talked to I I chatted with him and it was like jason i picked that on purpose i love that moment in the whiskey and it's like no we just have different tastes <laughs> it's okay it's like this is what i want he said oh that was just too sweet and too boring it's like no it's not boring this is amazing he said no mine has a little bit more of a depth uh, complexity i was like well And as soon as I try it, there's an astringency. And there's a little bit of bitterness towards the end. And it's just not what I am looking for in a private select. I'm sure there's other people that go, this is it. Now, this is boring. This is sweet. This is okay, maybe. But all right, this is this is the holy grail. This is great. This is not what I want. And that's the good thing about this um, this cask selection um, process, the private select. 1,001 different possibilities here. 
So other people are going to tend towards the maker, um, the, the maker's 46, which I would as well. The other is going to go in a different direction, and that is the beauty of this program. Now, if you've never actually seen, um, there, might, there has to be pictures online. Go type in um, Maker's Mark Private Select um, uh, the 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 um, staves uh, plastic ring. When I was there, they had a plastic white ring. There were actually like clothes pins on there. They're all hygienic. They're all um, resistant to any type of form of alcohol or chemicals and so on. And the staves are just basically thin strips of wood, uh, maybe about two inches wide. Let's go 18 inches basically long and about a quarter of an inch thick. And so you clip them on there with the, um, I'm going to just call it clothespins. At the bottom, you do the same as well. So they stay in the wood at the right separations. And you put it in there. Um, there's a, a limestone cave that they blasted out of the mountain there. Constant temperature is about, what, 58, 62 degrees Fahrenheit, um, about 14 degrees Celsius. And they just leave it in there um, for, what was it, six weeks, nine weeks. And then that changes that whiskey so much. It's really, really amazing what the Maker's Mark Private Selects do. I'm sure you've had some. Now tell me, please, if you've had some, what is your favorite stave combination? I think the more Maker's 46 there is in these, the better. I do like as well the, um, let me make sure I say this right, um, the Baked American Pure I like. I like the, um, the French Cuvée. I like the um, Maker's 46 and I like the um, Roasted French Mocha. So I'm not partial to the French spice. So I could do without that. If I could, if I could do something, I would probably go four Maker's 46, one French um, mocha, one seared um, French cuvee, and probably two American, um, baked American pure is what I might go for, but who knows. What would you go for? Write it down um, or write down the recipe you've had that you like the most or what type of staves are. Is, is your um, favorite. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and subscribing. See you real soon. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.